When we think about trails and hiking, we think about being all alone out in the woods. Can I see that guy? You're a sitting duck when it comes to wild animals and scary creatures. Some trails actually have cameras installed. We're not sure if this is to capture animals or people, but we're glad they have them. Tents. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the 10 cool videos in this clip. In today's video, we'll count down 10 trail camera photos that cannot be explained. Let's begin. Ready to join the finest squad? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. That being said, let's begin. The mystery behind the 1942 RAF recon flight that spotted a giant. People have believed in giants for hundreds, even thousands of years. So it was very exciting when a 1942 RAF recon flight caught what they thought was a giant on film while flying over Europe. People wanted to think it was a giant. In fact, people have been looking for proof that they exist for a long time. In 1988, a British newspaper published a story about finding a 38 centimeter long finger. They've published pictures and all. It was revealed that the story and the picture were fake. People in Africa also discovered very large footprints that they thought belonged to giants. Again, they were discounted as being fake as well. So what did the pilots in that RAF see 80 years ago? The mystery may never be explained. NASA rover spots alien thigh bone on Mars. The NASA rover spotted a rock formation on Mars that UFO hunters claim are alien bones. They say these bones prove that there's life on Mars. The rover sent back a couple of pictures of what do appear to be a thigh bone and a hip bone protruding out of the planet's surface. An alien hunter group called Martian Archaeology has presented the pictures as evidence that they were right all along. There is life on other planets. We have to go now. The group insists that these bones are alien bones and that this is proof that not only was there life on Mars, but that there was intelligent life on Mars. Now, nobody came back and said they were wrong. You'd think NASA would have published a comment about this by now. So, maybe they're right. The Skunk Ape In 2000, a woman who lived in Florida took not one, but two pictures of what she claimed to be a skunk ape in her backyard. She sent the pictures to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department as proof. The woman included a letter with the pictures asking the sheriff to check it out. We're not sure how long the creature was in her backyard, but clearly she was scared if she asked for help. The sheriff's office didn't publish any findings where the skunk ape was concerned, but... <laughs> Most people who live in the area and have seen the pictures think it's just a regular black bear. In case you don't know, skunk ape is another word for Bigfoot. People in Florida call it different things like a swamp ape, skunk ape, or Florida Bigfoot. Suspect pictures released in missing woman case. The guy in this video seems to have borrowed the mask from the movie Scream. He had kidnapped a woman named Kajavia Globe in 2015. They said the woman had gone missing and her family was concerned because she had never run away before they suspected foul play. They later discovered that the suspect in the mask was driving her car and had been using her ATM card. At around the same time as the police released the pictures of this suspect, a woman reported finding a dead body in her backyard. Sadly, they did believe the body was that of Globe, but they were waiting for the coroner to identify her body. The Falcon Lake Incident In May of 1967, a man named Stefan Mikolek was in the Falcon Lake area up in Manitoba, Canada. He was there to investigate possible oil veins in White Shell Provincial Park. He took a short vacation there and was camping outside. He said he was outside watching the stars one night and he saw a strange cigar-shaped object floating in the sky. 
He said as the object approached, he could hear voices coming from the entrance. He tried to talk to them in English, hoping they could respond and let him know who they were. They didn't answer him. He then tried to pick up pieces of colored glass that was underneath where the object was hovering, and he said it was so hot he burned his hand. Nobody was ever able to explain what happened to Mikulek, and the story remains a mystery to this day. White Man with Papuan Man-Eaters Eight Years After His Disappearance Michael Rockefeller, heir to the Royal Rockefeller Dynasty, went missing back in 1953. He was gone for eight years and nobody had any idea what happened to him. In 1961, they captured footage of a white man rowing a canoe with what appeared to be a cannibal tribe. Conspiracy theorists claim that this man is Michael Rockefeller and that he shunned his rich family to go live with a bunch of cannibals. Skeptics deny this and said that if a bunch of cannibals came across a white man, they would have eaten him. They wouldn't have invited them to join their tribe, as the story suggests. And that makes sense, but if it's not him, who is it? And what did happen to Michael Rockefeller? This might be normal if the trail camera was in Africa. Here, we have a picture of what appears to be a hyena. Call. Go! Hyenas only live in Africa, and this wasn't taken in Africa. Breakfast. Hyenas are known to be amazing hunters and are said to have the strongest jaw of all mammals. They can take down prey twice their size and are formidable opponents for any wild animal. If this hyena was on a remote trail in a part of the world other than Africa, where did it come from? How did it get there? It's one thing to come across a deer in the woods, but a hyena? You can't outrun it, and it can definitely eat you. Not good news. Amityville Ghost One of the most haunted houses in America is the Amityville House, located at 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, New York. It all stems back to a family murder that took place in 1974. Ronald DeFeo murdered all six members of his family. He blamed it on demons who had taken over his brain. Families who lived in that house after the murders all claim that the house is haunted. There have been books written about the house, uh, several movies, and at least one dope rap song. Three years after the murder, paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren visited the house and took some photographs. They didn't show anyone the pictures for almost three years when they appeared on the Merv Griffin Show. In the picture, they caught what looks to be the ghost of a little girl right by the first floor stairwell. Although some claim the photo is of one of Warren's assistants who was dressed like a child, most people believe this is the real thing. Night of the Living Dead this one comes to us from Loonberg County, Virginia back in 2012. This trail camera captured what looks to be not one, but two zombies. They're coming out of the woods. They have white eyes and appear to be screaming. If you look closely at the one, it looks as if flesh has been ripped off his chest. Now, we know if you see a zombie, he will always have flesh coming off his body. Now, most people don't believe in zombies. <laughs> and these pictures do look like they could have been staged, but there's no way to be sure. It definitely looks like something out of a movie. You can be the judge, but we won't be walking this trail at night anytime soon. Bizarre Ritual These two pictures were taken from a very remote trail, more than five miles from the nearest house. It's a small clearing in the woods. You can see what looks like a person kneeling down, almost as if in prayer. In the second photo, the figure is standing up as if they had completed their ritual. Now, what is someone doing out in the middle of the woods, in the middle of the night, praying? Why did they pick this spot? Was it some bizarre ritual? Or was someone just out for a very late night stroll and decided to thank God for their daily bread? We're not sure. We'll let you be the judge. Are you the kind of person who likes to go hiking at night? Have you ever wondered what they might catch on those trail cameras? If so, check out our other cool videos and let us know what you think. See you next time. <laughs>